Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on for the next deck, Grixis Control. Um, we did. We just finished up with Abzan Knights. Uh, I'm sorry I messed that video up for the YouTube recording, so sorry that won't be up on YouTube. Uh, we went one and two with that deck. Um, all right, so this deck, uh, this was the other 5-0 list. You know, the Abzan Knights was a 5-0 list as well. Um, this one's another 5-0 list that it looked pretty interesting that I wanted to try. So, you know, Grixis has a lot of you know, kind of good cards. And so mixing and matching them and, and figuring out exactly what you, what you want to do has always been kind of a little bit of the challenge with Grixis. I'm pretty skeptical about Thief of Sanity main deck against um, a lot of the format. Um, and not only not only that, but then also just like our, our, very, our very minute ways to catch up from behind. Really just kind of that. Like Thief is awesome when you're like ahead. Right, or if you're like on parity, you're playing your Thief of Sanity right after your Thought Erasure. The thing is, is like this deck is like if it doesn't curve out, and if you're behind, there's just not really ways to catch up with this deck. There's two Cry of the Carnariums as sweepers, which are you know not reliable at all. You know, only giving creatures minus two, minus two. So like the fact there's no Ritual of Soots or or anything for sweepers besides the Cry of the Carnariums, I'm I'm pretty skeptical about that because when you're playing discard spells. While Thought Erasure and Duress are awesome cards, if you're playing discard spells, you're not, um, and your opponent's, you know, playing creatures, whoops, um, you're just going to be behind, and there's not really ways to catch up if you're just playing, like, Thief of Sanity after that, when you're, while your opponent's playing creatures, like, Thief of Sanity does not block very well at all. And so, you know, we'll kind of see how it goes, but, um... I, I'm a little skeptical about like this deck catching up, but yeah, this was the five O list. I want to play exactly how it is, so we'll we'll try it out. Um, that's what we're kind of doing here today, playing a lot of different lists uh, that found online today from Pro Tour, different five Os. Haven't been doing doing too well with them. But we haven't been curving out super well with a lot of our decks we've been playing a lot you know basically a lot of decks that rely on that so we'll see if it happens this time this is a really good hand you know like this hand curves out you know we have the duress into thought erasure into thief of sanity and we're on the play so, like, this is quite good. I'm playing a, a five-color dragon tribal. Nice. That does sound pretty sweet. This is something different. So we're playing against a starter deck. And this is... If this is a loss, this is not a good sign for the deck. <laughs> we lose this one. Alright, so they get one hit with the Thief of Sanity against us. Basically, you know, paying three mana to take one of our cards. A 
We'll see if they found a removal spell. Oh, I forgot to reset arena. Kinda need to do that, it's lagging a little bit. First time you used Thief to go land. Were there other choices to take also, but you just end, you just took the land? Um, just gonna get rid of the ionizes for hostage takers. Hey, good job, Claus. Nice. Got to platinum with the cat's deck. Awesome. Yeah, that cat's deck was was uh, J Jack Jr. made that deck. Yeah, good job. I don't need to play on Mortigo. I'll just kill the Harpy or whatever. Land. No land. Just really isn't the worst spot to have no land, because uh, we get to cast down this Trash Master. Um, which is what... Like, so that's why... That's another reason why I didn't want to really keep the Thought Erasure. I mean, I guess I would have just Thought Erasure away the Trash Master, but... There we go. So yeah, so they, they're they taking our Thief, so they can take something else. The good news is is Thief does fill our graveyard pretty quickly for Search for Escanta, so that's the good news. No, all those beautiful lands. We have five in there right now. They honestly may have hit another land. Like, they may have just hit three lands with Eva Sanity. <laughs> well, Eldest Reborn can return some of our creatures at the third chapter. But yeah, the, the first part of Eldest Reborn sacking a Goblin Instigator token, not so good. And honestly, I don't think yeah, I don't think we'll ever cast that Eldritch Born. Don't don't think we'll ever cast it thanks to Thieva Sanity. Should find us other things to do like Brawl Bash Ogre. We could die. It's possible. Yep, 
second. If they draw another Act of Treason, we'll die. So much for that resub there. Welcome back. That is sub number 16 of the day. The the storm counts one ahead. So I just took the token over the instigator because I'm not like planning on Casting the instigator. All right, I'll go ahead and transform this time. Um, and so I just took, I just took the token, so I wasn't, like, gonna spend the time to cast the instigator, and in case my opponent did have, um, did have some removal spell for the hostage taker, I didn't want them getting the instigator back. Okay, so the Harpy means that even if they'd find Act of Treason, they cannot um, take the Nickel Bulls and kill us. Because we can block the Harpy. Or we can block with Harpy. Um, and Harpy is only a 1 2, so if they steal the Harpy, it's only 3 power. They can't kill us there either. So. Yeah, that, w that was the first time I've ever cast Ravenous Harpy. Okay, Julius, you made some changes there. Do you want me to... When... Julius, when do you want me to play the Orzhov after life list? I just kind of have it... You know, I just put it somewhere in the order. I can certainly change that... It's spot in the order. Um, so we're on the play. Uh, you know, I can, so I can play yours um, up next, even, uh, you know, or or after being familiar, or where it is, or I can play it a different day. You know, just let me know, Julius. Go, thief, go. Okay, after this one or after Bant? Gotcha. <clears throat> Alright, let's... Go use the Thief of Sanity to get that hostage shaker.
I don't want to cast Cry. Did they have they missed a land drop? Um, no, I guess they probably have not, have they? Hmm. Oh, I should have just flipped the Escanta, then hostage taker away the Lanor Elf and cast the Lanor Elf. No, this is fine. If you had to choose one deck to win a PBTQ, what would it be? Rakdos Aristocrats or Orzov Afterlife? I would choose the Rakdos Aristocrats. Yeah, I would I would choose that. Um, I like the Aristocrats deck quite a bit. See, I'm not transforming this because I just don't have really a use for the fifth mana. And so I kind of like have it keeping the Ascanta there. Um, that's something else to do. But I guess I should transform it, though, because of Vivian. And Vivian can... Just destroy the Escanta. I really want to draw a land next turn so we can Jade Light and Contempt, but of course, um, casting Jade Light should help us get to the mana to be able to Contempt as well. That's not so bad for us. It's really not that bad for us. Like, couldn't they just done better by casting Find? Just put, like, Thief of Sanity and... Something else back in their hand? I don't know. <laughs> Please run. Are you a crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. So ticking up with Angrath doesn't do a whole lot for us there. I like just getting rid of that 2-1. You know, we're at 8 life. Comes. Um, even if they're just attacking the Angrath quite a bit. I just getting rid of that thing. Hmm. No fire. That worked out too well for me. No steel. Now Angrath's dead. Not dead yet. At least they only have a 2 1. But they've gone through a whole lot of lands. So they're, they have a whole lot of top decks. Back to the Devil's Chains and the Stormwreck Sea I go. I would say finality is a good one to draw. Find. That's a good one. I think getting this towards the third chapter is the best. gotten so many free lands from these explorers. This one I'm talking about with the with the deck is how it does not does not catch up from behind at all. Um
Maybe they get maybe they got three lands with the Thief of Sanity. I'm I'm thinking they got three lands with the Thief of Sanity. All right, so I, oh I can't get I can't get uh, Vivian. So do I want Ang Angrath or Thief? Maybe just Hostage Taker. Just take this Jade Light. Yeah, the stream's lagging a little bit, or like the the game is lagging. Is is the actual stream lagging also? I know the game is. Like, I need to reset the game. Pretty bad. <laughs> Unfortunate for our opponent there, because, like, Jade Light and, um... No, that was... Okay, so... Um... Just a random person put a message up saying, you have been banned, and so just everybody saw that. Nobody is banned. It was a troll chat thing. I s sorry, I was talking about that. I should have just played the Angrath and st stolen the Jade Light and attacked. But I was just kind of too busy talking there. About what happened there. Okay, so we're playing against Sultai. We got pretty fortunate to win that game, in my opinion. Um, let's get these hostage shakers in here. And disdainful strokes. Um... I want to cut. Do you like chemistry's insight? Cry the carnarium. I'm staying with the Thieves Sanities. That Elisha Born was honestly pretty good for us. I think I'm gonna stick with the Elder Borns because of how good it is with Hostage Taker. I'm gonna take out one duress. Hey, Jelly. Yeah, couldn't stream the last three days because my electricity went out because of a windstorm. That was, it was really rough.
but power came back on last night, so we're back at it. Doom Waffle, thank you so much for that tier one sub. I really do appreciate that. Sub number 17 on the day. Thanks, Doom Waffle. Well, our hand's not any good, so I'm glad our opponent hasn't done anything yet. Super glad they didn't have, like, Land War Elf turn one or anything like that. Yeah, I, well, I live up up in the country, or like up up in like the mountains, uh, in Roanoke, Virginia, but up in the mountains, and so, you know, like down in in the town and stuff, everybody had power pretty easily, but I didn't, and it was rough. Um, I kind of want to just contempt this crisis, but the problem, basically, the problem is just Vivian, just kind of in general. If I if I wait and cast Eldritch Reborn next turn, they can just, like, sacrifice Crisis and then buy it back with, like, a fine finality. And it's, like, even better to have it back. Just get this thing out of here. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. But yeah, today, so today, a 12 hour stream today. That's the plan. So they can minus Vivian to kill that, but Draw at least. And fire. At least, you know, like we, you know, we killed their creature plus took three loyalty away from Vivian. I think that's a pretty good trade. Aw, uh, thanks, Jelly. Yep, got the power back. Thanks for the cheers. So yeah, it was a terrible... You can't stop nature. Terrible timing, because, you know, I was... I wa wanted to, um... You know, last time I wanted to... Or on Monday, I was going to be doing the 12-hour stream, but, like, you know... That's when the p power went out Sunday night when I was asleep. No other creature. No other creature. Dang it. So I'm certainly planning on streaming a lot uh, this weekend and, you know, next few days and everything. Just in general. To help make up for it. Thanks, Luge. You got your two packs from the preseason gold status, and they were both mythics. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> so... Was the play better to Vrass's Contempt, the Hostage Taker, to get back my Hostage Taker and take their Branch Walker? Um, I don't think so, because I think just leaving the opponent with Vivian uh, is honestly just not not better than that. Like, Vivian just gains so much. Um, so much card advantage. Um, 
Especially when we're in like a hostage taker world here of them finding more. Just not really what I wanted to do was leave them have Vivian at all. Because I'm not... Because like the next the next Eldest Reborn... Like the Eldest Reborn the next turn is not going to kill the Vivian. Because like they're, they're certainly going to play other creatures. Or whatever. And like so the Eldest Reborn is not going to get rid of the Vivian. And so then, then they'll have like their Vivian to... Kill the Eldest Reborn again, because it'll be at like five loyalty or whatever by then. Yeah, you just have to get Vivian off the, the battlefield, even though we're really behind as far as creatures go. Yeah, and likely likely dead, but you just I don't know. Vivian's too good. I guess I probably should have just been patient and not contempted the the crisis immediately. There you go. Got your 15 wins today playing Grixis discard. That's a good deck. See, I like I like that Grixis discard list against like these Sultai decks for example more. I like not playing all these creatures and just and having sweepers um, and attacking the hand. You know, I think that, like, you know, attacking, that's the way to beat Sultai is, like, attacking their hand and sweepers and, and effects like that instead of just playing creatures. Sultai is just ridiculously good at dealing with creatures. I mean, look at all their, you know, hostage takers, chupacabras, um, crowl harpooner now even. Like, creatures are just not really where you want to be. So, like... Not really sold on like the whole Diva Sandy against Soul Type plan. Yeah, um, the list is somewhere in here in my stream decker. Just look for Grixis discard. Um, that's the Grixis list that I've put together. You're just fuel for the f your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Wish I had one more mana for Biogenicus. Sure do. Yeah, that ooze would have been so good. But I had a million harpooners and chupacabra and ah, hostage taker and I'll everything. I'll have and... you in chains next time. Just can't play Thief of Sanity as like your win con against them. It's like, what is my win con? I don't, I don't have one. It's a problem. I like, I just, I just don't have another option. Like, I can't, I don't think I can just board out Thief of Sanities. Can I? Probably not. Bolus is okay still because you can wait till a super long game. Play some, play some cries and some duresses. Or negates. I guess negates are probably better than dresses. Yeah, Angrath's an awesome card. Angrath is a really good card. 
Um, gosh, I wish we had Ritual of Set. Would Unmoored on Krasis or Vivian make sense? Kind of. They can just kill us with, like, a lot of other stuff, though. It doesn't, like, KO them. Unmoored Ego is just card disadvantage. You kind of need it. You need it to kill, the, like, to KO the opponent. I do like Chemister's Insight. I think Cry is pretty important for our Eldest Reborn. Yeah, Movement of Craving certainly does stuff. That's the thing about Sultai. That's what makes Sultai so good is like all of these cards do something against their deck, but all but they all don't do things against other parts of their deck. So like if we have like the part of their deck where Cry or Moment of Craving like lines up, that's good for us. But you know, they could just be sitting with like you know a bunch of other stuff. Like see like like Cry the Carnarium and Moment of Craving doesn't you know, does nothing. Does actual nothing. So they still tie so good they attack from so many different angles. Well so I'm taking a Vivian. Of course I had to draw the second cry. We have two dead cards in hand. Yeah, I I cr I s Certainly would much rather be playing um, Ritual Set, but we're not. Vivian out of here. So I'm I'm thinking, man, I really like to draw a land next turn. If we draw a land next turn, we can double cry. Get our Nicol Bolas back. Assuming they're going to hostage take her the Nicol Bolas. Every fight makes Sometimes restoration means retribution. Well, that couldn't go any worse. That could not have gone any worse for us. If I would have just cast Cry of the Carnarium last turn and got rid of these things, and then that happened, I could and grass steal the Brontodon. Like just basically everything just went. That went terribly for us. Yeah, like we we have to just steal Thief and hit Vivian. We just don't really have another option. Here, people. 
Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> but I, you know, I prefer to steal the Brontodon. Not bad. So that the, the cries kill those two, but I don't think we can let them just hit us with Thief again. Gosh, Cry of the Carnarium. It's, it's so horrible. I already hate this Grixis deck. I've weathered tougher storms than you. All right, we're, we're back in it. Don't, okay, they're gonna fall. Please just have folly. Please do not have fine finality. Okay. So they're gonna folly back other ooze. Yeah, Theora, my my electricity went out. It's been out for three days. So that's where I've been. Oh, and our proton is lethal. They have seven power on the battlefield. We're at seven. All right, one and one. Oh, wait, cancel. 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 Cancel didn't work. Uh, it, was pro it was around 50 in my house the last three days, so yeah, it's been really cold. Um, it's been warmer outside, like when the sun's been out. I forgot to reset. It certainly, yeah, cancel doesn't work when you're real laggy, like like we are right there. The cancel isn't working. I hit the Z button, uh, or key. Z is how you untap. Golgari Graveyard. Um, it could be a deck. So let's see. We're we're five hours in right now. I'm gonna be streaming till. I'm gonna be streaming until eleven. Um, we have we're on Grix's control right now. We have four decks after this. I usually do four decks a day. This these are probably gonna be our. Honestly, I think th these are just going to be our decks for today. Actually, now what we have up here. We can't deal with that Carnage Tyrant. Might as well get rid of it. I don't, I don't think like just attacking like these 1-3s and stuff is, is going to be good enough because... Especially when we didn't know about the Nicol Bolas, like it wasn't, we had no in inclination that the game was going to be ending anytime soon. Hey, what's up, Sly?
Vivian's just gonna kill me. I don't know, maybe I'm not supposed to counter that. Really wish they would have just played Vivian. Last turn. Um, I like Sinister Sabotage more than Ionize. Um. I think Scry 1 is more valuable than... Deal 2 damage. All right, so I'm going to play Nicol Bolas. They're going to Vivian and kill it. Vivian's at two loyalty. I play Eldritch Reborn. They sack it to play on War Elf. Um, Vivian takes up to three. Eldritch Reborn goes to the second chapter. Then they can Vivian minus and kill Eldritch Reborn, or I get the third chapter and get Nicol Bolas back. If I play Eldritch Reborn right now, they sack a land War Elf. Play Vivian, destroy Eldest Reborn, and then Nicol Bolas can kill Vivian. I guess that's probably the the better option if they if they use Vivian to kill Eldest Reborn. If they if they go Vivian tick up, this is the worst option because Nicol Bolas like forces them to Vivian minus. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Come to me. I guess this isn't the worst option for Vivian to go, because either way, Vivian could destroy both Bolas and uh, Eldest Reborn. Yeah, that's actually... Because now I'm going to have the third chapter next turn, so they can't, like, minus and get rid of the third chapter. Yeah, this actually worked out just just fine. And that tick up didn't didn't matter because they had to discard the two cards. So actually this worked... Like, them ticking up actually worked out a lot better for us. And ZZ, welcome Feel back for the, the 17th month. Scala. You are amazing. Thank you so much, NZZ. So that's sub number 18 on the day. Two away from another pack. So they got the Carnage Tyrant. I can make them discard Carnage Tyrant by going double Nicol Bolas. Only that's too necessary though. We'll just get Tender Shoot Dryad because Tender Shoot Dryad can potentially uh, deal. Could potentially, um, you know, make make a, enough sapperlings to deal with the Carnage Tyrant and everything. Our opponent really needed to wait. Um, our opponent like made made a mistake there. So like they have the Memorial of Folly. They get to tar like whatever. If I target their creature with Eldest Reborn, no matter what creature I target, they could just um, sometimes sack their Folly in response and, and take that creature back. So they allowed me to go get Tender Shoot Dryad. Um, which Tender Shoot Dryad is just going to be better than Carnage Tyrant, right? Like, this is... Like, our creature is going to take the, take over the game. Uh, 
It's not a bad card to draw. It's not a bad card to draw at all. Yeah. Kind of how today's gone for us. Oh, hey, Ionize. That's a very bad card to draw. It's just the story of today so far. Alright, so we'll get some hostage takers in here. Disdainful stroke. Take out these duresses. And I'm not sure if I really want Angrath. It's a deck filled with mana creatures. Ionized Chemistry's Inside and Angrath are probably my least favorite cards here. Oh, Cry the Carnarium. All their cards are 1-3s. Just get that thing out of here. Cry the Carnarium still just not a very good card. Um, I don't have any set number of packs that I purchase whenever a new set comes out. Last time, um, like the week before the set came out, or maybe five days before, all of the sub goals, we just uh, kept a running tally of packs to add to, to buy packs afterwards. Hey, James. Uh, Phyrexian Scriptures is not very good. You can't really play your Wrath that... that just It's just an enchantment that sits on the battlefield for a turn and it allows your opponent to just use their Vivian to minus and kill it, and then it doesn't do anything. Just Because of Vivian, you just can't really play it. So Chupacabra and Tender Shooter are the, the two best cards here. Um, I'm taking the Tender Shoot. Even though like Chupacabra can kill my Thief of Sanity or Bolas because um, one Tender Shoot can just get way out of hand. But two, they, they don't have any black mana. So not only do they have to draw a black mana for Chupacabra, they have to draw another black mana as well. They have to draw two, two black sources. We don't hit our land, though. And they hit black sources. And everything's just terrible. No! I didn't mean to click that yet. I meant to click this, this one. All right, hopefully they don't draw another black source immediately. Give us a turn to untap and have ionize. That's cool. Even better. Yeah, the, the next set looks pretty sweet. Um, you know, MTG War, War of the Sparks. Like, it's it's going to be pretty epic story-wise. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, games have definitely been interesting. But haven't been winning too much. Oh, the Modern Horizons announcement? No, I don't I don't really care about that. I don't, I don't think that's gonna affect me one bit. As somebody who just streams Arena full time. Yeah, I think, yeah, if there's a, I could see there being a new Nicol Bolas in War of the Spark. Our opponent got really greedy there getting hostage taker for Nicol Bolas. They should have just got Chupacabra with me having all the open mana. They got very greedy with that. I can't let the hostage taker trigger resolve and then try to contempt so to like get the nickel bolus to re-enter to make them discard a card. Because if I let the hostage taker trigger resolve, then it's their um then it's their priority and then they just get to cast the nickel bolus. Hey lords. I wouldn't really mind drawing a land, but I, I, need, I mean, I need two more lands for Nicol Bolas, to flip Nicol Bolas. I'm just going to die to all these crappy creatures because our deck doesn't play any sweepers, which is ridiculous. Let's say we draw a land next turn and we get to flip Bolas. What am I doing? Am I putting Chupacabra into play? Chupacabra kill Poisoner? No, Chupacabra kill Branchwalker? Am I just going to get Tendershoot Dryad? Like tender shoot. There are none greater than I. Death means nothing to me. Hey, no girl. Hey, Zexion, with the Twitch Prime sub, sub number nineteen on the day. Thank you so much for resubbing there. Zexian, I really do appreciate that. Blech. That's kind of the problem with just getting any anything is now Bolus is gonna die. A lucky win. Pretty far behind. Let's see if we can maybe draw something. 
Okay, okay. Not so bad. Unfortunately, as Kanta cannot find us the better cards that we could draw, like Thevis Andy or Nicol Bolas. The flipped as Kanta, that is, the Sunken Ruin. They have another statue. Didn't really want to use my ionize there, but I will. We have a couple five mana cards, Angrath and the Eldest Reborn. Alright, so if I play Angrath, I do not get to activate as Kanta. So I can do one or the other, activate or... Play as Kanta or activate... Or sorry, play Angrath or activate as Kanta. Problem with Angrath is, the best thing to do with Angrath is to steal one of these things, but then the other one just kills Angrath. Sucks. They draw the black mana, we die. Oh yeah, I guess we could do that. We could yeah, actually that's yeah, we could just steal the steal the elf and then cast the the bolus. We can do both. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Or I could have used the mana on Ascanta last turn. Could have done this last turn. I didn't really consider that of. Please don't draw the black mana. And they drew the black mana. I've weathered tougher storms than you. All right, back up to four. Right, Incubus, not dead yet.
Can we... Can we come back? As Kanta's not helping us a ton. Not helping us too much. Dang. Dead to a couple land war elves. All right, one and two. Did not, I did not like this Grixis control deck. I was not very impressed with this deck. Um, it's kind of built, it's built like, like this is what I was talking about before, uh, before we even played the league. This deck is built pretty well for assuming that you'll never be behind ever, um, but it's not, there just aren't cards to catch up whenever you're behind. There's two Cry of the Carnariums um, and another Cry of the Carnarium in the sideboard. But that's just such an unreliable sweeper. Game one, we just they just had you know like three one threes, so I took out Cry of the Carnarium, and then game two they had they did have like Chupacabras and Land War Elves and things that Cry of the Carnarium would have killed, but it's just not that good of a card. Um. So yeah, I, I much prefer my own Grixis deck. I'm gonna be deleting this one. I'm not playing that deck again. Um, to the Grixis discard that we were talking about before. Where is it at? Grixis discard, where are you at? You're in here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. Well, wherever, whatever happened to Grixis discard? Hmm. Oh, I have to remake it. I think. I think I ac I accidentally saved over it with the four color discard. Oh, is it is it third from the left? Am I just missing it? I was thinking maybe I I oh there it is. Yeah, it's right there. I was just missing it. I was thinking maybe I saved over it. Okay, so. So this, um, you know, we have so we have campaign instead of Thief of Sanity to to hit the hand um, and keep the hand clear, so that with uh, whenever you're thought erasing and campaigning, um, you know, like basically they only will have like one or two cards left in your hand whenever you're playing your bol bolus or angrath, that the bolus or angrath immediately like takes out the the rest of their hand, and then we have like some ritual sets to go with Cry Carnarium since we're going to be behind need more sideboard or need more sweepers and then i like thief of sanity as like the against some decks um i don't like playing it against the chupacabra hostage taker decks but that that other list like there's no other option besides thief of sanity against those other lists um no disinformation campaign is is awesome that card is very good but the thing about disinformation campaign is it is like thought erasure where it doesn't affect the battlefield so you are going to be behind when you're playing disinformation campaign you're going to just always be behind so you need you need sweepers and so that's why we have the three rituals to go along with a cry as well so there we go all right so if you're watching this video later on youtube of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button there uh, but thanks for watching